house plant friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm here at cactus updates house oh my gosh i know real ones will know him as blue cactus club guy but also he's just my friend and his name is just alex and this is hey alex welcome. and i'm also here with my husband christopher one of my members and friends hannah hey. and my mom somewhere way over there <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna show you all of his cactus. Well, not all of his cactus. There's <laughs> he's laughing at me. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you a bunch of the cactus that I think are cool. But before we get into that, hey, thank you so much for watching. And maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships which you can check out at the link in the description for only five dollars a month. But let's just get into the video. So Alex is cactus update. He's it's, who you're gonna know him by. It's true, it's me. So I thought it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. If you showed me like your favorite cactus that you have in here, if you can even pick. I'll show you, uh, oh boy. <laughs> oh darn, that one's not blooming anymore. But um, how about over here? This is one that I've been really enjoying lately. This is an Areocarpus retusus. But this is a cultivar called cauliflower. cauliflower. You, you can kind of get why they call yeah. it that. And this one's just really extreme because here's another cauliflower. Whoa. So that's really neat. And then here's a, a regular retusus. So these are the same genus and species, but this is a cultivar. Mm -hmm. So it's really neat. It's uh, it's actually grafted on a barrel, if you can see in oh there. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, which is a nice She's like trick. right underneath there. Yeah, right down there. Yeah. So it's a nice little hidden graft. So which one is the Godzilla? Godzilla is this guy, which was another favorite. There's one on its own. That so, is so cool. this one's called Godzilla for the extreme texture. Yeah, I see you talk about this guy a lot on your Instagram. Yeah, it's one of my absolute favorites. It's, it's just. Um, it's really gnarly. Yeah, I actually and thought that was the exact same as the cauliflower. They they are two very popular cultivars and I've seen them confused. And here's a regular Fisheratus, a non-Godzilla. Wow. So they're both Areocarpus Fisheratus. Nice. But Godzilla and then yeah. normal. So you can find these in Texas. Cool, all over Texas. A grower here named Miles Anderson. Oh, that's so cool. And he calls it the fat line. So <laughs> fat chunk, line. Chunky is not, not too far. I think that's what he calls it. Yeah, fat fatty boy oh and you can gosh. see it's it's bending yeah, literally the, pot. Bending the, the pot. tap root is just exploding out of there talk about the astrophytum so these are like my very favorite these are all almost all asterius but there's a bunch of cultivars here so i'll show you some popular ones so there's a v-type love it which is a, a variation of a super kabuto super kabuto has these big white flecks yeah and then there's your regular Asterius. Oh, I love him. And these, this is the natural form that you'll find also in Texas, okay, in other cool. parts of Mexico. But it's cool to know that we have them here in the that States. That is really cool. There's a star shape. Yeah. These are really popular. The turtle or Kiko form. That is so dope. Where the ribs have mutated into kind of round segments instead of straight lines. That's so cool. Yeah, really neat. Yeah, I would like, I think I like this one a lot. That's one of my favorites, um, but they get really hard skin, so if they take in too much water, they'll split. Oh man. But I love those big Vs on there. College, I used to sit in my film classes and just scroll and look at Astrophytum. Yeah, they're really, they're great. I they're, love the pups. They're, they're spineless. And there's these little spheres. They look like um, they do look like obesas, but the the sand sand dollars. Oh yeah, they um, totally do, especially that one. Here's a variegated one, which is really fun, really popular. That's so cool. Um, they're a little more fickle. So there's another nice big star shape. Yeah. And then here's another cool one called Uibo that Uibo. has really big aerials. Really. Yeah. Big. Oh, Plus there these. goes one. Oh no, that was just a, oh, a spent gotcha. a spent flower. Oh, they um, just pop off. Yeah, and there's a fruit. <laughs> oh my goodness. It so, can make fruit. I didn't even yeah. think that that would be a thing. That's where all the seeds come from. In fact, I'm sure I have a... I keep grabbing fruits and just... Putting them in there. So, if you kind of tear it open, <gasps> you'll find seeds Oh in my there. goodness! So, Wait, that is dope. Yeah, a lot of these are fruiting for me right now. Yeah, and flowering so, so too. So, there's my little tag. It yeah. says, I crossed it with another Uibo. And there's the seeds. <gasps> So I'll, what the heck? I'll let it dry out and that's how you you end up growing little babies. Oh my gosh. I so, love the flowers too. Yeah, these get really cute oh flowers. Oh my goodness. Looks like we missed this one, but this is a really cool spiny guy. And this is not an as Asterius. So yeah. This is a, a Capricorn. They call it, it's like a goat 
so they look like goat horns. Cute. Um, another favorite one is a version of this. It has really fat spines. Yeah, they wow. call it buffalo. It looks like almost like little devil horns too. Yeah, they do. I like the curly one. This like oh, weird, this dark is nice. curly one. This one. Yeah, that's bizarre. Yeah, it looks like a little bird's nest. Oh my goodness. And you know, I'm pretty casual about touching them. Yeah. But a lot of them <laughs> you shouldn't touch. Oh, the little guys. Those are more baby asterias that are desperately asking <laughs> that we put in the new pot. Oh my goodness. I mean, look so at this. cute when they're in a little cluster though. Yeah, they're that is adorable. I would just keep them in there forever and make them cry. I like Let's this one too. That looks like an <laughs> alien. This is really cute. This is a path the Pithalantha Boki. Um, and it has the finest spination of Pithalanthus. Wow. Um, and it's, you know, they're fun to like squeeze and It touch. literally looks like an alien. They do. They're like little alien life Or forms. like a weird fungi or something. Yeah. yeah. These are fun. That is Lofofora, so cool. Freaky eye. Freaky eye. <laughs> yeah. Some people say it's something else, but these are fun. They're like, oh, it is a fun like squish. ripe tomatoes. Oh you want to squish? Oh my Chris, <laughs> you want to touch the cactus? <laughs> you want to touch the cactus? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. In demand cactus, copiapoas. Mm -hmm. well, uh, Sorry. Ariocarpus, copiapoa, and astrophytum are kind of the trendy plants right now. Everybody's trying to find like a columna alba or cinerea. So these all get tall, right? If you grow them for t long enough, they'll all get like this, right? Not quite. They'll get more like that. Okay. Or they'll start to cluster like this. Okay, because I've so, seen some, like, what I think are astrophytum that, like, or maybe they're not astrophytum, they're You have seen astrophytum stereos. that get columnar, yes, like that. Those. So, and then really old Asterius, they too get a little tall, huh. but not quite columnar, right? They're still glo globose, yeah. I think is so the word Yeah, so they won't just, like, grow like the other ones. No, they, so they, they describe cacti um, as columnar, globose, and I don't remember what else because yeah. I forget. Columnar really means like it grows tall. Yeah, grows really arms. tall. He's so dope. Yeah. You posted photos of him, right? Yeah. So that's, I've definitely seen him before. This is the Myrtillo cactus spiralis. Yeah. And then here's a Copipoa heseltoniana. That you get the idea that it's yeah, older, but it's bigger. clustering instead. It yeah. puts energy into puppies. He's got a little guy. <laughs> yeah. He was. He's a tiny one of the other one, right? The exactly. first ones you were looking at? Yeah, it's a tiny um, retusis, Aureocarpus retusis. Cool. All these are from a project I'm doing with friends where we're going to try and sell staged plants. That's cool. We'll see how that goes. Staged just means potted? Yeah. Cool. So I just pair the pot with the plant and see. So my friend makes the plant the pots and I pair it with the plant. These are kind of popular too right now. These like truncata horthias. Yeah, these are super popular. I don't know a lot about them and I've kind of resisted getting these because <laughs> um, I just I don't want to have a lot of different care yeah this is oh, a neat he's one, the variegated variegated one. one that one's popular yeah it's really cute it's I water them a lot I don't know a lot about them what is that this guy yeah this is a steno cactus it actually changed the genus to the kino fusula cactus those are brains they're brain cactus and so some of them like this one's called multi-costatum because it has a, a ton that of ribs. That almost like triggers me a little bit. <laughs> Stop That's looking bizarre. at it. Oh, there's one up there too. Yeah. So this is another one of those staged plants. I love that. Yeah. So these are stenocactus. People tend to sleep on these. You can find them pretty cheap. Y'all um, are sleeping on it. Yeah. And that's okay. Keep sleeping. This weird. So this is guy. Pseudolithos. This is a hybrid um, of Cubiformis and Migger. Your Those I don't are know how weird to say ones. Them. They look like dragon eggs. Chris yeah. would love to see that. And they make these dragon eggs. Glooms, wow. um, that they literally smell like sewage. So cool. like, really? Like they're awful. So they attract the flies. Yeah. So they're they're stapeliads, which are oh gross. Um, they're cute, but they're gross. Yeah. The, uh, to touch. To touch. <laughs> really the most. So Chris is asking the real question. The hardest ones to touch. Or this, just the ones that have weight to them. So, I mean, I guess the hardest ones to pot are the ones that are heavy. Because yeah. Then the spines dig in. But, like, almost any plant here, I can I can grab it and repot it without fail. But when I start doing bigger ones, like, like this, I gotta figure out, like, newspaper or towel or something. <laughs> you don't have cactus gloves? No, they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to use gloves, just get some tongs or newspaper or something instead. But the absolute worst to, to touch is anything so like, like prickly pears. They're these kind of yes. really hard to see spines. 
that they look like hair and they get in you and they have keratin. So not only do you not get them out, they're also giving you like an allergic reaction. Like well, mom will tell you, she had a jumping cactus get her once. Yeah, well, it's a toyas. I don't have any toyas because those are an absolute motion. And it feels like they jump out of you because they're barbed. So when they grab you, the, the gravity of them makes it feel like they actually jump. Like wow. cactus one tiny little yeah. sign. Jeez. And I filled this, this third. I want to be like you. Survival of the fetus. Yeah, it's like if you want to grow, <laughs> it's on you. Like this is yeah. kind of the short of it. That's so cool. These guys are pretty neat too. I like the weird funky. So these funky. are another cultivar, and then this is also Kiko, where it's segmented ribs. They're called Roro. Oh, but I don't have any, so. <laughs> I don't think it's <laughs> Sadly. Uh, these are all Aria crushes over here. It's just a random section of it there. Um, but so that's called um, Lloydie Eye, and it just happens to be like this little. Um, and it's a subspecies of this thing, fish rod. Look at this one! What is that? It's a freaking cube! Yeast. These are all Euphorbia Hordas. Is this your little Euphorbia corner? Yeah. Look at that! I know some things! And then all your Wellwitchia, how are they doing? I think pretty good. There's one that looks like it's dying. Pretty normal. Yeah, <laughs> Which is pretty normal. Yeah. There's one growing oh, down he there. Off. Wait, you're Look serious? Super in the ground. Yeah. That's a little well yeah. He's I doing call those it. Molly. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> I love that your little cactus like topper area of the ones you graft. Yeah, and then this you is just my put them down graft. there. This is, I call this root root island. Root island. So this is where I have things oh, I rooting. <laughs> and then I'll put them into pots eventually. Oh, I love it. What is the oldest plant you think you have in here? Like maybe your first one you collected or maybe you inherited one from somewhere. Um, so here's maybe is, I, I'm gonna go oldest by time it's been with me. Okay. Not by actual age, but this is one of my very first plants. Um, like ever? Ever. Aww. That like that I bought for myself. There's a barrel cactus of my dad's that was my yeah. official first plant, but this was the first time I bought a plant from a nursery. And it's a Gymnocalicium cardinacianum, which, uh, you know, who cares if you know the name or not? I don't know the common <laughs> name. But when I bought it six years ago, it was in a two inch pot like this. What? You know, six years, as oh, some yeah. people would expect bigger growth. Yeah, there's another monstrous and crested, but. That's bizarre. So this one's pretty I mean, I think that's pretty big. Yeah. If it started like that, you know? This goes with this. Then it was, I usually have the tag facing back, that's how I remember. This is the stacker I oh, cut the piece off for you. They're siblings. Yep. I'll show that in a second. I cannot wait. You don't even know how excited I am. That is so nice of you. How long have we been like internet friends now? Too long. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I. Everyone's you know, so crazy. I'm not huge. I'm not like a big uh, social media person. Honestly, I, I just asked him so many questions all the time. Yeah. And then finally I was like, hey, you want to do like a sticker together? And yeah. then just okay. went from there. Every time you guys ask me cactus okay. questions, so I hope you don't get too flooded. No, I get no, cactus questions totally all the time cool. and I'm like, go ask cactus. <laughs> and I, there's, I, there's a lot of things I don't know and I'll just say, I'm yeah. sorry, I don't really know. I've but. started doing that too. And now people are like, what's wrong with my plant? And I'm like, I don't. Now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll ask. I'm sorry. So what I tell people is to find people in their area that are growing plants. Yeah. That's going to be the best information. It's people with the same situation. Yeah, the same environment. Also. Why do you have these oh, so I think these are hilarious. Oh, he loves these. These are. Um, I looked it. I was like decoration. We call them accents. They call them enhancements. It says <laughs> enhanced with an everlasting faux flower to brighten your home. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and they're just these hot glued plastic yeah. flowers. And so he'll stick them on normal cactus so, and be like, I've enhanced it. Yeah, I'll put them on a on a cactus that a lot of people are obsessed with, and I'll be like, <laughs> now it's now good. it's a good. cactus. <laughs> now we're talking. That's awesome. I, I do get a little yeah. pleasure with antagonizing people that take this hobby too seriously. <laughs> Need some of these on your plants, Ashley. No. Yeah. So how long have you been collecting cactus? I think six years now. Wow, only I've, six years. My dad's been doing it for decades. Okay, so you started when you were a kid? I, I mean, I've, I've followed my dad around and didn't care very much. Honestly, yeah. I was like, why are you... While you're out in the heat with yeah. these stupid spiny plants. <laughs> stupid 
stupid. And I, I would go with him to nurseries, like at Plants for the Southwest. I've yeah. been going there with my dad since I was in middle school. Yeah. Um, I only really only cared about petting their dogs when I went <laughs> yeah. for many years, but now yeah. I, I go there all the time, and it's it's an obsession. It's just a really fulfilling hobby that yeah. it really isn't demanding um, unless you go a little overboard. So I would say the last thing is my camera is about to turn off. Sure. What is one one cactus you would tell people that's good to start with? Because everyone asks me this question. I think if you want a good starter cactus, check out like a Gymnocalyceum. Mm -hmm. So even this will even pop up at like Home Depot. Yeah. Um, this is a Friedrichii. And this is, this is actually from Home Depot. This oh. is a Damsii. Nice. Um, so Gymnocalyceums are great because they are pretty sturdy. Uh, they'll go a long time without water, but they'll also drink up a bunch of water too. Yeah. And they'll, they'll be forgiving if you give them a more organic mix, which most people do the first time around. Yeah. Gymnocalyceums are great. Or like a, like a blue myrtle, myrtle cactus geometric. I always tell people blue cactus. I love blue cactus, but don't touch it because the farina will come off. Yeah. The farina will come off, and the only thing about most blue plants is that they have a really low resistance to cold weather. Yeah, so good to know. Unfortunately, I gotta wrap up this video because Alex has a kid. He's gotta go get his kid. I do. And also, my camera's gonna die. But <laughs> thank you so much, and you guys can find Alex at Cactus Update on Instagram. Please go follow him. He's literally like the person I ask for everything, like about everything. Later on, I'm gonna show you the two cactus that he actually gave me, because he gave me two, right? Two little pots. Yeah. So he gave me a little Mirtillo cactus stacker and then a couple just like astrophyton babies. Little Asterius babies. Asterius babies. Yeah. Cool. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the memberships. Again, check out Alex. He's great. And I'll see you guys in the next cactus section. <laughs> Thanks for visiting. Thanks for thanks for letting us come. Seriously. Course, this is really cool. Yeah, thank you. Everyone says goodbye. 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 So I completely forgot to show you my little haul. This is the Mirtillo Cactus Stacker. This has been on my wish list for forever. And then he also gifted me this teeny tiny Asteria, and I shared the other one with Hannah.